Well, hey everybody, a couple things here today. Um, one, I've been doing some more work on trying to figure out how I'm going to be doing the new uh, one by five, one by six foot uh, HO scale switching layout that uh, I'm starting to work on. And also I wanted to announce that the, the channel has reached the 2000 subscriber mark. And so because of that, I'm gonna be doing a little, a little giveaway. And because I'm working on a switching layout here for this next project, uh, or at least one of the projects I'm working on, I'm doing a giveaway of two great books that are helpful for doing uh, switching layouts, uh, especially if you're doing a sort of a modern era industrial type switching layout. And, and those two books are How to Build a Switching Layout and Eight Realistic Track Plans for Small Switching Layouts by Lance Minheim that uh, I found very valuable and, I, and, and these are really great books. Uh, these are my own copies here. I'm actually, um, I have some new ones on order that are coming in so that, that I'll be sending those out to the winner. And so the way the contest will work if you wanna win these books is basically just post a comment on this video below here saying that you want to be entered into that contest and and so around the 15th of december i'll close it off and i'll go ahead and select a a winner from the people who had posted comments so i'm going to use a web scraping tool that basically aggregates all the comments and uh, um, only pulls out or basically pulls out all the usernames from that and so you, no matter how many times you post a comment you're only gonna get one entry because it only just just basically does a, a record of, of, of who has posted a comment and then using a randomizer um, tool it will basically pick randomly one of those names out of that list of names that got pulled out uh, from the comment section so that's how it'll be selected and then um, once I have a winner I'll contact the person and, and get their their mailing address uh, for these and I'll go ahead and get them in the mail and, and uh, shipped out um, later this month or later in December. Um, so uh, otherwise getting on to the, the project layout, um, I've decided that what I probably want to do is uh, I've been trying to figure out something kind of realistic to do with, uh, with, with the switching since I'm doing kind of an Inglenook plan but I want it to basically be uh, both a game but also kind of be quasi realistic in terms of how things are switched because um, I do plan to build it such that it can be connected to eventually uh, additional modules and become part of a larger industrial switching layout sometime down the road. And so I'm kind of building everything to kind of fit into that sort of uh, that sort of theme. And so I thought about doing corn oil, but I don't like I don't like tank cars uh, for this kind of things because they're really delicate and and if you're do, dealing with a uh, a non permanent type layout, you have to always repackage them and everything and, and there's a high probability of, of stuff getting damaged on them. So, um, so I want to do something like boxcars or, or hoppers and and, uh, um, and so I decided what I'm, going, what I'm going to do because I want to also keep the car short um, in the 40 foot range or less, um, I, I'm going to be using 40 foot mini high cubes and basically be modeling a GE uh, appliance warehouse distribution center kind of place. And so you know, they'll be basically loading doors for, you know, for it'd be five loading doors if I use the 40 foot cars. And then you'll have to basically, you know, spot them to the correct doors because each door might be for a different type of appliance or whatever. So, you know, kind of a general idea of how that's going to, going to, going to be worked out. But um, I did order eight mini, 40 foot mini high cube cars, which will be used for the switching of the, the layout that I'll be building. Uh, and these are all from tangent scale models. And so, uh, just got these in the mail today. So I'll do a quick look here of uh, how these models look. Since I have never before ordered from Tangent, and I haven't really seen their uh, their product before, um, besides, you know, online. And so, they, and, and part of the reason why I'm, I'm also doing these, these mini high cubes is because it works out that they have, uh, I think, nine unique uh, types of cars, which makes it easier when you're doing a, a switching kind of thing where all your cars are unique and you can have different road numbers, but um, you know, it's a lot easier when the cars all look different in terms of colors and everything else in terms of, you know, being able to spot them and everything and you're not having to worry about reading road numbers and, and that kind of thing. So I do like to have unique cars uh, when possible. So um, I'll go ahead and do a quick overhead shot here and kind of see some of these. I'll take one of these one of these cars out and, and look a little closer at it. Okay, so this is uh, one of the N-scale uh, mini layout or uh, modular layout project that I'm working on pieces. Um, but uh, anyway, so there's basically a couple of Burlington Northern cars with different uh, schemes. Um, have a Denver, a couple of Denver Rio Grande with different lettering schemes on them. A couple Illinois Central cars, actually another red Burlington. 
northern car um, and uh, Milwaukee Road. And so anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, randomly pick one of these out here. I guess I'll do this Illinois Central Golf Car. But uh, and the packaging is nice, has a nice description on the back of what they were used for and uh, how they were, where they were built and all that. Um, packaging for the most part is pretty pretty nice, easy to open up, which is usually the case for HO scale cars. It's always a lot harder with N scale cars typically. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, pretty nice. I haven't, uh, I'll have to check the weighting, but it feels like it's decently weighted. I do like to always overweight my car, so I'll have to figure out if I can uh, easily remove the bottom and, and add some additional weight. Um, although it is pretty it is pretty hefty for um, for its size. I may not really have to do that, but. Um, okay, so if we actually weigh this, uh, this 40 foot high cube here, we see that we are at about 4.4 ounces. So the weight is actually good for the size. Uh, you'd want it to be around 3.8 to 4 ounces for a 40 foot box car like this. Um, but again, since it is a high cube, it, you know, it has a little bit extra mass on it because it's taller. Um, so the weighting is pretty good for it, you know, for what it should be. I still do like to go heavier though. A lot of times I double the, the actual normal weight that you're supposed to see for a, for, you know, given car length, since I do find that heavier cars just switch and track a lot better. So I think I probably will go ahead and add a couple more ounces of weight, uh, to the car at some point here. Um, but, uh, you know, they are, they are not at least underweighted, which is, which is good. So at least, uh, the weight is actually probably slightly heavier than what it normally than it would be for NMRA standards, which, so, it, you know, they, they should operate pretty well right out of the box. So, you know, they're really nice uh, quality product. You do, I order these directly from the Tangent website. If you do uh, bulk ordering, you do get a discount um, for ordering multiple cars. So, but uh, anyway, just a quick uh, overview of these cars, but these, these are the cars I'll be using, um, these 40 foot high cubes um, in terms of size. They are about, six and a half inches, you know, from coupler to coupler, uh, body itself is you know, not quite that. Um, and so the, the importance of that is just that I have to plan the layout such that I can fit, you know, in terms of siding length and everything, I have to, I have, to have, you know, one siding be able to hold five of these, another, you know, two other ones to hold three. And so, um, just for planning purposes, I, need, I needed to know the exact length of all the cars with the couplers. And so I could basically plan that out in terms of how you know long you know each siding will actually need to be so everything will operate properly. So um, that, that's the reason why I ordered these early, just so I could go ahead and do that and be able to accurately measure everything and, and get an idea of exactly how things needed to be laid out on the layout uh, for the proper operation of the, of the Ingle Nook um, you know, when it's actually finished. So anyway, uh, that's a quick update on how that project is coming along and what I'll be using for rolling stock. And once again, I am doing the giveaway here of these couple uh, books on building a switching layout. And so if you are interested in winning copies of these, go ahead and post a comment below on that. And I will be, um, again, around December 15th, aggregating all the uh, responses and then going ahead and picking a winner and uh, getting those mailed out to you. So uh, if you want to take part in that, just please go ahead and comment. You don't technically need to be a subscriber. Obviously, it'd be nice if you did subscribe. And uh, you know, and also like the video just so it gets bumped a little bit more in terms of people being able to see it perhaps a little bit uh, more readily. But uh, anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.